I have here a Honda EU series 2000 watt generator. All right, don't let the name fool you though. It's 2000 watts, but only for 30 minutes max. And then it'll overheat and cut the power to the equipment. They have a rated max, which is the most it can produce for a certain amount of time. And then they have the standard rating, where it can produce all the time. And that's going to be 1600 watts on these units. Um, the nice thing about these is you can put parallel ports, parallel wires, uh, and wire this into a similar model called a companion and produce double the power. So you get 3,200 watts. Um, these are the most popular ones. I mean, it's basic. I haven't been doing this YouTube thing for very long, so I'm going to grab the best shit I can. Uh, and the reason they're the most popular is because they're portable. You know, you start getting bigger machines than this, and then you're getting into heavy stuff where you'll have to have wheels and everything else and significantly adds to the cost. These guys, you can pick up one of these and the companion, a um, little over $2,000 for both of them. I think this guy's, right, it's $9.99, the other one's $1,100. Uh, but especially for RVers, campers, they love them uh, because you can pick it up and carry it around, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, if you do that kind of stuff, definitely lock these up. I mean, people are fucking ignorant, just assholes. Uh, you know, they'll steal these things so goddamn fast. These and steel. Uh, you know, lock that. Don't leave it unattended, because it'll walk off. Guaranteed. Every fucking time. Anyway, so what we have here. Front cover, we've got the Eco Throttle on off. Eco Throttle, um, these are inverter generators. Uh, being an inverter, you're getting pretty much the cleanest power possible. You gotta run sensitive equipment, electronics. You definitely don't wanna run that stuff off of a standard generator. But standard generators need to run at full RPM to produce 120 volts. Your inverters do not. Uh, they can produce 120 volts even at idle. So what the Eco Throttle does is that's just going to ramp up your throttle depending on what the load is on the machine. So it'll just idle and then as a current gets, or a load gets put on it, it'll just start ramping up to meet the needs of the load. You can turn it off. I generally have it off when you're starting it, so it'll be full throttle. Turn it on and it'll drop down to idle. As you put loads on it, it'll start uh, ramping up. And I've got some loads, so I'll show that here in a minute. Oil alert. Low oil, the machine will shut down. It won't run. Add some fucking oil. Take care of your equipment. It's an expensive piece of equipment. You should be maintaining it. Overload alarm. If you get a short circuit or overload, this will come on for about four seconds and then it'll cut the source. So the engine will still run, but you won't get any power going out because it's just grounded out, protect itself. All right, output indicator, green light will be on when you're uh, running the machine. And of course, you know, catching up on the manual while reading this, when you start it, if it doesn't blink, zero to 100 hours. Blinks once, 100 to 200 hours on the machine, twice, up. So. Nice little handy tip, RTFM. All right, so we've got a ground here for this. This is a 12 volt direct current. You can charge batteries with this guy, but it doesn't have a limiter, so stay on top of it. Don't just leave it unattended. Check your battery. And 13.3 amps, 16.7 uh, I think for 30 minutes at the 2000 watts, 13.3 uh, RMS. Here, you've got your on-off switch, recoil, you've got your choke for cold starts, uh, maintenance access here. Over on the side, you have another maintenance access. Uh, spark plug under there, and of course, I had to cover our company sticker because I don't think anybody really likes my fucking videos. Or at least they don't want to be associated with them, and that's fine. I'm kind of a prick, but you guys are humans, you're pricks too. I want to point out the top of the gas cap it has a nice little vent up here. When the machine's off, you turn it to off. When the machine's on, you turn it to on. That'll vent it so as the volume drains in the fuel, it'll actually pull in air. Now if you don't, it'll form a vacuum. The machine will shut off. Chico. And hey, look at this. The very first thing in the taking care of unexpected problems, Chico. Fuel filler cap vent lever is in the off position. <coughs> Chico. So make sure that's an on when you actually want to run the machine. All right, let's go ahead and start it. You can throttle off, switch on. 
And yeah, it's it's quiet. That's as loud as it gets. That's another reason people really love these machines. They're really quiet. You know, I have, uh, or my, my father has rather, and shit, I think it's things from like the 1940s, a uh, Kohler Welderator. I think it's just obnoxious. Anyway, but uh, at a quarter load, these things will go four hours on one tank of gas, uh, one gallon tank on this. Or, I'm sorry, at full load, they'll go four, uh, four hours. At a quarter load, it'll go, I think it's like nine. So you get quite a bit of runtime out of this. We got some loads here. Got a fan and a vacuum. So let's go with the fan. All right. So normally on a standard generator, not inverter, anytime you add a load, you're going to have to run full power. So turn the fan on, and it's still pretty much just idling. We'll turn the vacuum on, which is significantly louder than the generator. It does. Now that's even not full throttle. That's full throttle there, so it even has a little more headroom with the fan and the shop back going. So it adjusts itself, and that's really going to help with your fuel consumption because you're not going to be wasting unnecessary gas running at full RPM if you're not pulling a full load. Phenomenal machines. Um, one other thing about them is if you're not going to be running this for months at a time, uh, you know my chainsaw? I don't run that all that often. I live in the middle of fucking suburbia. What the hell do I need that for? Just like the chainsaw, put ethanol-free fuel in these, please. Just do everyone a favor. The ethanol gas goes bad after about three months, and then it gums up carburetors and everything else, and it'll do the same to this. So if you're not going to be running this fairly often, Use ethanol-free fuel, even though it's a bit more expensive, it's a lot fucking cheaper than a carburetor repair. But that's about it. Have a good one, humans.